guys, it's Callie and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be going over some tips and tricks for how I studied um, during my anatomy and physiology class because going into anatomy and physiology, I was super nervous because I knew it was a very rigorous class. It's basically the number one class that everyone has to take as a pre-nursing student. The number one prerequisite is always anatomy and physiology. Um, and I made it out of the class with a 98 point something, so I thought that I would make a video on how I studied and what worked for me, and hopefully um, it'll help some of you guys study too and do well in the class. So the main like five things that I did throughout the semester that helped me do really well in the class were making flashcards, making quizlets, um, going over my lab manual, um, the notes that I took and drawing on my whiteboard. So I'm gonna go further into detail with all of those things in the next few clips. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna be talking about are these flashcards and they're probably the number one thing that helped me throughout the entire semester, um, especially when it came to studying for exams, besides like obviously watching lectures, um, but these flashcards are a lifesaver and I highly recommend them. So I got this flashcard organizer from Office Depot, I'm pretty sure. So basically I just organized them by what they're about. So like muscles, the brain, bones, Things like that. So the ones that I'm going to show you are the axial skeleton ones that I made. Um, so mainly the bones and the brain. So what I did was I went onto my instructor's PowerPoint and I printed the pictures um, that were labeled. So I was lucky enough to have an instructor that put pictures of what we were learning on his PowerPoints and labeled them with numbers. And what I did was I printed out all the pictures, cut them out, and I would glue all the pictures on the front side. And then on the back side, I would put a key to all the numbers. Um, and this is this helped me so much in the class. Like, I highly recommend it. Um, so basically, like, obviously, you would look at number, like, four. Um, try to, like, figure it out on your own when you're looking at it. And then flip it over to check. And it would be frame and magnum. Um, and I did this for basically every single unit in the class. So I have skull ones, and I have muscle ones for all of the muscles and the arms and the face and all over the body. Um, super, super helpful. Okay, so I'm going to try to insert a picture like somewhere over here. Um, but the next thing I'm going to talk about is my whiteboard. So basically for every lab exam, whatever we were learning, for example, if it was the skeleton, I would draw the pictures, um, like the skull, for example. I would draw it on my whiteboard and then I would draw lines, um, like for example, away from the skull. And then I would try to label it on my own on the whiteboard. So... Okay, so it's obviously not the best drawing, but I drew an example for you guys of a skull. And so what I would do is I would label the parts of the skull that I need to know. And then, for example, this area right here, I would try to remember what it's called. And if I can remember it, I would write it down. And if I can't remember it or if I write it down and I want to double check it, I would go over to my lab manual and look at what that area is called. And it's the body of the mandible. And... So I would just go back over here and write body. And then I would do that for all of the different areas of the skull. All right, so for my anatomy lab class, I have this giant binder. It's super thick, full of all of these pages that we need to cover all the material um, that we need to know for lab. Uh, I bought this binder from Staples, I believe. And it has these pockets that go super high up, which I love because uh, stuff doesn't, like papers don't flop out as easily, but that's besides the point. Uh, so before every new section that we cover in lab, um, before the day we go to lab, I will always flip to that section. And we are now covering the brain and the nervous system. So that's the section that I flipped to tonight and what I will do is I will read through everything that we have in our lab manual and I'll highlight stuff that I think is important and look at the diagrams and if I can, um, this section didn't have any but like 
if there are questions that I can answer on my own, I will, but like for this we need, we're gonna be doing that in lab tomorrow, I believe. Um, but yeah, I'll just flip through, I'll get familiar with the content, highlight, and then at the end there are always chapter review questions. So what I will do is I will read them and try to answer them on my own and then I'll look at the answer key, make sure the answer is right, and then I'll take a highlighter and I'll highlight all the answers so that later I can look back at them to study. And yeah, so I like to do that before every lab class to get myself familiar with the material before I go there so that I'm used to it and I'm not completely oblivious as to what we're going to be learning about. Before moving on, I also just wanted to mention that all throughout the manual there are diagrams like these where they just have like lines and numbers for you to label yourself. So what I'll do for every chapter is I'll flip to the back where the answer key is and I'll try to label them myself first and then I'll check with the answer key to make sure they're correct. And I like to do this because by labeling them yourself, uh, instead of just relying like on the already labeled ones that the manual gives you, you're helping to like further ingrain it in your brain and practice it because at least for my anatomy and physiology class, our lab class is completely anatomy. So our exams are completely based off of being able to label what certain parts of the body are. So by practicing it yourself at home, labeling it, you're just helping prepare yourself for the exams. All right, so another thing I do in the class that is vital to maintaining good grades and passing the exams is that I will watch the recorded lectures and take notes. My anatomy lecture class is currently online and my teacher also posts our lab videos online as well. So I always make sure to take the time to print out the notes and watch his videos. And what I started doing this semester is I will go to print and I will print out the notes like this um, in the three slides format. And it has little lines next to it and this is where I'll take the notes. So that's what I just did for my lecture notes this week. And I do this for both lecture and lab. And what I'll do now is I will hole punch all of them and then I will put them into my binder that I have for lecture. And basically what this looks like is like this. So I'll watch the video and I'll take notes. Um, and any extra notes like that he says or that he says are really important, I will write down and I'll highlight important information and it just makes it easier. Um, when I need to go back and study for my exams because I automatically have all the pictures here for me and I don't have to take as many notes. Um, I can just write down like the really important stuff on the sides. And I know that printing out notes like this, especially when there's that many all the time, can definitely use a lot of ink, but in my opinion, it's definitely worth it because it saved me so much time and energy just taking the notes um, and it gives me more time to study and it also helps my studying a lot because there's diagrams in there and they're very accurate since it's not just a drawing that I drew. Um, originally, I was printing and cutting out the drawings and gluing them in, but it was just taking me forever. So this has been the most effective way for me to take notes in this class. And one last thing about my lecture binder before moving on is that I organized it by exam. So what I mean by that is that I divided the binder up by putting all of the lecture notes that were covered in each exam uh, together. Like, like for example, I put a tab um, separating like after each exam. So like this was all in exam one. And then I put a tab separating, and then all of these notes um, in between these two tabs were covered in exam two. And I do this just because it makes it a lot... Oh, and then I also add these tabs um, 
within them so that I like if there are multiple like um for example this was the integumentary system and this was the skeletal system and they were both tested within the same exam so I just added this tab here so I can quickly flip back and forth and they don't all like get mixed together because it's a lot of notes but yeah so the reason I do that is just to organize my binder better and so that I don't just have like a ton of notes um, all jumbled together because that would be really overwhelming and confusing. So now on to Quizlet. Throughout the entire semester in my anatomy and physiology class, I would make Quizlets. My class is divided into a lecture portion and a lab portion. I think most people's anatomy and physiology classes are. And so on Quizlet, you can make classes. So, and this is completely free, by the way, completely free. Um, so I made an anatomy and physiology lecture class and then um, the lab part of the class. And then I also had statistics, but um, so I would make Quizlets for each part of the class. So I have a brain and autonomic nervous system Quizlet, nervous system, muscle tissue, all the stuff for the lecture part of the class. And basically I would go through all my notes um, from beginning to end and make flashcards on all of them. Um, just questions and stuff. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Quizlet, if you've never used it before, it is basically online flashcards and what's so cool about it is that you can just use them as normal flashcards or you can um, use the learn feature which is a little bit different or it'll literally make a whole test for you like with A, B, and C, multiple choice, fill in the blank. Um, also write writing ones so um, it'll ask you to like write the answer. Um, and then they also have games. So there's like a matching game, um, which is pretty fun. And I haven't played these ones yet, but um, this isn't sponsored, by the way. Um, it's just like an amazing website, and I'm so thankful it's free, and it's really helped me in this class. Um, it's a lifesaver, and if you want to use mine, it's public. So my username is Callie4499, and um, feel free to use any of my study sets. Um, I have a lot of them, and yeah. So if you made it to the end of the video, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, and I hope that you learned a few things that you can use in your own anatomy classes. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like, and if you want to watch more from me, feel free to watch my other videos or subscribe for more from me in the future.